And we're live. <laughs> we're doing early February. 2021. 2021. First <laughs> shit. 2021. <laughs> Hitting it real early. January. Yeah. Oh, it's not even February. It's January. That's how early we are. We're going to see if we can find some old ones from last year or the years previous. and Just get our legs ready. Oh, all going here. We're big old packs here. <laughs> Get our legs and muscles all stretched out and ready for the season. But, yeah, we're hitting it real early, and it's brisk. So yeah. we'll keep you posted. Maybe we'll get in that good bone zone, bring back some chalkies. <laughs> all right, we might do a little ice skating on the way to the bone zone. Hopefully we won't fall through. How's it feel, Shaden? Good. That's pretty solid. All right. Cross another ice river. That's pretty solid. <laughs> well, we'll test out the old Kinetrex here if it goes through. See how dry they are. We <laughs> couldn't get enough snow in the standard. Oh, we haven't already got any snow this year. It's crazy. All right, it was March 2020. And Shaden, last time Shaden and I made it up this trail, and right here, somewhere in that patch of yellow grass was my first claim brown antler that trip starting off good that was before we i don't know how many miles we put in the rest of that day 12 yeah good way to start it off so anyway into the abyss all right we just climbed i don't know how many thousands of feet so many miles probably oh, it's only about three, three three and a half miles but we're ready to drop off and decline several thousands of feet. Take a look. Here we go. We'll end up in the bottom there somewhere. See how many sheds we can pick up along the way. Well, so far no luck. Beautiful day though. And I'm in some good elk terrain. Seen fresh elk sign, fresh poop, and pee, and lots of tracks, lots of trails. Uh, of course, aren't any fresh antlers right now, so we're just hoping to find one that other shed hunters didn't pick up or other hunters during the hunting season. And with Corona and everybody out hunting over the last year, since they didn't have work and lots of free time, probably a lot less antlers out here. So, anyway, blessed to be out here today. and we find something that'll be bonus. Well, there's the first antler I found. Just a little broken off piece of a tine and a bunch of prickly pear. So, old chalky pink one too. But we'll put it in the pack. Never know if it's the only one I'll find all day. There are some big bulls here. Some big rubbings, nice trails. Another big rubbing up there. But this area, prime hunting area. If I ever draw a tag, I need to check this place out. Found this cow head here. Thought I'd perch it up on the branch. Let people know this has been searched out already. Well, Last up, my first claim of the day. I'd say we've probably put in about eight miles at least already. Maybe. Yeah. I didn't look at my thing. It may be, may be exaggerated. Again, Maybe yeah. six or seven. Yeah. So, I sat down, take a break, and I'm glassing afar this way on the other hillside, about 800 yards off. And uh, there she is. Looks like a five point chalky one. White. I don't know if it's chalky. It could be last year's. It's been out in the sun a while. It's definitely chalk. <laughs> definitely chalk. It's definitely white. Yeah. That's for sure. So, so I got to come up with a game plan how to walk down this ridge and up there and go collect it, and whether I want to keep walking that side hill and let Shaden take this side. So, come up with a plan and we'll figure it out. Came across some bones. Got cow, cow up skull number two mounted up there. Still on my way up top, 
Get that antler, getting closer, probably about 400 yards from it now. Oh yeah. First antler of the day. But I glassed up from across that ridge over there. Nice five pointer. White's been out in the sun, been a lot of sun here. A few little minor hairline cracks, but I would say this is probably from this past year. It's just been baked out in the sun all, all year. So, nice. We'll strap them on the pack. See if we can find some more. Came up upon something else. There's a military base not too far from here, and I think they practice all kinds of stuff. And look at this. I don't know what this is. It kind of resembles a little rocket. I don't know if it's a missile they shoot out or a little rocket. Looks like it may be missing one of the fins. Let's see if it. So maybe like some kind of rocket or like a practice missile or something. There's nothing inside it. Look at that. Looks at a wing on it. The other two little fins or wings. I don't know what they're called. It broke off. Heavy duty steel. No writing on it though. So. Who knows? Kinds of strange stuff you find out in the forest. I just walked up on another shed. Shaden was guiding me into one, which could be the match to this one. I don't know. He doesn't know if it's for sure a shed or not. But look at this. Nice. Get a better shot out here. All right, here we go. Second shed of the day. It's definitely a chalk. He's been out here several years. Been under the shade and it's still white. Five pointer. And I think Shaden may have located the other one, other side, possibly. I'm gonna go check it out after I get those strapped on. Well, it's getting close to evening time here, and we've gone. I haven't checked. Last time I looked, it was right around nine and a half miles. So, still got at least three and a half more to get back. So, my little partner here, Riley, let's go, is pooped. Well, pooters pooped. So, Shaden found a nice six point chalky one on the other ridge. So, we're coming back with at least three antlers right now, unless we find some more on the pack out here. So, well, we got a snowstorm coming in, so I better hit the trail before it gets too chilly. Thanks for watching. Well, there's Shaden and his big find of the day. He got a nice 60, sexy six. Sexy six.